Live from San Jose, California, it's The Cube at the Adaptive Flash Launch. Brought to you by Nimble Storage. And we're back here in San Jose with Nimble Storage's Adaptive Flash Launch. This is the wrap-up segment. My name's Stu Miniman. Joining me for the wrap-up is uh, co-founder, CTO, uh, David Floyer. David, uh, we, you know, we heard a lot, uh, you, you know, from the, the folks at Nimble. It was great to hear, you know, Suresh and uh, uh, Varun, uh, you know, come talk about how they've built this business. I mean, a public company, uh, Silicon Valley success story. Um, it, it, it's good, you know, as those of us that watch the storage industry, to have these things that it's not just, you know, there's more capacity and you overburdened and, you know, uh, dollars are getting squeezed. So, uh, you know, what, what's your takeaway from this event, David? Well, I, I, I think uh, that Nimble have really focused on the key things that they could make a difference with. And that was a reasonable performance for a large segment of workloads. Not trying to take on the whole world, there's still segments around that which uh, they're not going to address and they shouldn't. A reasonable workload for that uh, fat middle, uh, as we call it. Uh, some really good innovative technology, particularly in the backup and recovery area. Um, the ability to do snaps and take those off and do that cost eff effectively and efficiently is really changing the uh, the backup market. Uh, a lot of a lot of guys are having to follow that model, having had the previous uh, dump everything type model. And the third area, which uh, all of the customers really today, and it really were, they were very enthusiastic, is the whole area of understanding what's going on in the storage. The InfoSight in, uh, product, the, their ability to be able to collect that data in across the whole of the network, share that with their end users, uh, make a, a, a crowdsourcing of that is very impressive to me and a very interesting way of developing the support, the cloud-based support. Uh, and that's it, very innovative in its own right and uh, something that will be difficult for the traditional vendors to, to get to that level. All right, so David, you, you always say it's horses for courses in yep. this space. So, uh, you know, I, I, I hear the message here, uh, you know, all flash performance at, at hybrid. Um, you, you know, we, we know there's server-based uh, items that will have lower latency that they're not trying to address, but how much of the market did they hit? What, 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 what didn't you see today? What critiques do you have of uh, Nimble strategy and wh where, where, where do they fit? Well, there's, uh, there's uh, cost, there's uh, performance in terms of bandwidth, IOs, and there's latency. Those are the three factors that are in storage. And, and you, you can't do all three. You know, it's like a three-legged stool or whatever it is. It's very difficult to do all three. So um, what they do well is the cost, what they do well is the uh, IO performance, et cetera. The latency, by having a disk at the back end, you're always going to have some latency, uh, longer latencies. So the very, very low latency sensitive applications such as very large databases, very uh, uh, IO intensive databases, ones with lots of locking, those are the things that are still going to be on the all flash arrays. But they can take a, a good 80% of the middle of the market. At the low end, of course, there's very cost, you know, as, as one of the customers said, Sometimes you just need the lowest possible cost. But they could take it as a big fat middle that they can go after very successfully. Okay, so so David, unfortunately, like the market in general, things are moving half fast. We're being asked to, you know, wrap things up. So recommend that people uh, you know go to siliconangle.tv to find all the replays from this event, all of our upcoming events. Wikibon.org is where all the research is. If you look under the software-led infrastructure, it's really our take on how software is eating the infrastructure environment as well as you know our big data and cloud coverage. Find all that on the on the wikibon.org homepage. Uh, my name Stu Miniman, uh, John Furrier, uh, you know, was, was my co-host for this event, and David Floyer, really appreciate you bringing your insight team. Uh, thank you everybody for watching, and for the Nimble Storage team and, and all of their customers for helping us bring this, uh, you know, to the masses.